one more place in the last 16 up for grabs it goes to one of these two men Jermaine Watamena the machine gun he's known as the big Dutchman who saw off Robert Marianovic just about in his opening round or Peter Snake by right one of the big names in the world of darts a man who's been playing some phenomenal stuff all the way through this year and he's kicked things off as is traditional with Peter Snake by right matches with the East Anglian hacker that is his bounce across the stage to Pitbull well he looks shattered after all that <laughs> I think he's overdone it but uh, Peter Wright will be hoping to avoid the fate that has befallen seven seeded players so far today it really has been a special evening of darts the world number one Michael Van Gerwen is out it's not been a great night for Holland Van der Voort's on his way home as well maybe Wasimena can toss his name into the last 16 and join Yella Klaas and, and Barney in the third round tomorrow but he's up against it here Peter Wright is fancied strongly to do the business but Peter Wright has been guilty shall we say of struggling to First leg, get Peter, into European tour events this year he's had sloppy starts here and there but once he's been allowed to build up ahead of steam he's not fared too badly had a good run to the semis in Mulheim 16. in September Yeah, well, the defence of his European Tour title he won in Dusseldorf 16. last year was particularly short-lived. Beaten by Devin Peterson, as I recall, in his second-round match. Well, the dance-off did for him there. Well, quite. And surprise, surprise, Peter Wright's got a different set of darts from the last time oh, I saw him. <laughs> he has as well. I can't, I, I have to say, I'll hold my hands up, I can't remember if these are the darts he was throwing against Dave Chisholm in the first round of the Grand Prix. 140! And certainly different from the ones he was thrown at the last European Tour event. Forty-one. Not going where he wants him at the minute. Do you mean what I mean is stolen the darts? Yeah, he be abroad. He's a fairly cool-looking customer. Had to be yesterday when he came back from five-two down to beat Marianovic in a thriller. In the first round. Yeah, 5 2 down, but Marianovic never got a match start. 99. And even though it wasn't stratospheric averages by any stretch of the imagination from Watamena, he did it 50% of his doubles, so his finishing was pretty good. Once he got down to a finish, he was pretty good. 60. Do you mean you require 102? In a minute, Peter Wright is struggling to hit trouble of any sorts. 17. 62. We'll leave him double top when he returns. 140. So Peter Wright needs this, otherwise he suspects he may well suffer a break of throw in the very opening leg. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, you wouldn't put it past him. Oh, 120. What a name that. Tops he wants. He's way off beam with the first start, but he, he finds double 10. And the Dutchman breaks in the very Second first leg. Second to throw first. But Peter Wright will not be panicking just yet. 81. Is this the man from Velp? Yes, Velp in the Netherlands. 27 years old. Ranked outside the top 100 in the world. And making his European Tour debut. 60. Recently taken on this year into the same 60. stable as likes of Kim and Ronnie Hybrex, Dimitri Vandenberg. Won his tour card on points in January. Didn't even need to get and play day four. He knew he was safe. 100. Q school. Couple of last 16 spots on the Pro Tour so far this soon. year. This would be his most significant run in a PDC tournament but he has won other tournaments he won the German Gold Cup that's a big one over here in Germany won that last year beat Jan Decker in the final and we've seen enough from him to suggest that when things are going right he can play some serious so starts I mean he beat Christo Reyes in qualifying for this one we know how good a player he is mm. uh, he, he got to the world championships albeit just the prelim rounds he lost 4-3 to Marianovic in the first round here. 
and uh, he must have known again. Yeah. yeah, well, he's probably put those on anticipating that Peter Wright was going to wear a brighter outfit than he actually is. This is understated for Peter Wright. He's not even got the matching trousers on. Shoddy. Well, Peter Wright will not be finishing off here and now. He's got a very good chance to break straight back, though. Can't yeah. finish 1-6-2, what a man. And he can set it up very nicely, and he's going to do just that. Doesn't he just... 130! But Peter Wright should get two dots at double 16. If that's his choice, yeah, it is his favourite. And he's finishing. Sure the second leg, leg. Peter Wright. Joe's hit. Third leg, Loving, uh, Peter to throw first. Style Peter's Jingle. hair and all that goes with it. Taking a seat down by the stage to keep an eye on Peter here. 42. Uh, just to put everybody in the picture as far as the draw is concerned, we've just got uh, this final match here to complete the lineup for the last 16. Seven 100. qualifiers have made their way through to the third round tomorrow and it's wide open especially in the bottom half with Bunting, Evans, Cullen, Van Barneveld and Slovich all in the bottom half of the draw. Gerwin Price and Steve Beaton qualifiers in the top half already through as well. 100. Barneveld and Cullen meet in the last 16 tomorrow so one qualifier guaranteed to be in the quarter-final tomorrow evening from 7 o'clock. And I know we, you know we talk all the time about how the strength in depth in PDC darts has just grown and grown and grown almost exponentially. I mean, the guys who you never heard of are going out there and throwing 100 averages. But he doesn't get away from the fact that Michael Van Gerwen is when he's on form, he's dominant. He's won five of these this year. Five of the eight months. He's not going to make it six out of nine for the year. Because Mensor Sulevich dumped him out. And there's Watermana. Oh, he just slips into the treble seven rather than the treble 19. But that does mean that he'll get two darts at double top when he returns. Unless, unless, unless. Peter Wright. Oh, oh again, he hit the treble 20s and he missed the double 10 in the first 60. leg, didn't he? He needed to bring James Wade in there as his joker. 50. And this time it's Watermana's turn to miss the double 10. Peter, you require 20. So, a reprieve for Peter Wright, a chance here. Mm, he'll take the, that the the second Peter time of asking, and he hits over. his nose in front. He leads by two legs to one here. 100. Chance for Michael Smith, of course, to uh, claim a third European title of the year. Yeah, or Robert Thornton to pick up his second, potentially, but then, you know, Last year we had eight different winners from eight events, and there are plenty of potential winners out there. Steve Beaton's won one, James Wade's won one. Sixty. There's all kinds of potential victors in the field. Mervyn King's the defending champion, of course. Kim Hybrex is a danger in the top half as well. Mm. Having got to the final in Dusseldorf. Forty-five. Yeah, last sixteen takes place tomorrow afternoon, and then in the evening. 60. We've got the quarter-finals, the semi-final and the final. £25,000 to the winner and a place in the Grand Slam if they're not already qualified for it. 100. One hundred and forty. That's good stuff from Wasimena. Likewise from Peter right here. 125. Mm, you went you require 141. Yeah, just a, a fat 20 would have made a big difference for him, but... 70. Mm, just a 70. Peter, you require 131. Really Peter right, 71. It's very gettable though. We'll do it. And two clean darts. There will be no 131 checkout from Peter Wright. 82. Jermaine, you require right. 71. 71 for Watermaina. Tops. 51. One out of five on his doubles, Watermaina. Peter, you require If you're going to beat 49. number four in the world, you're going to have to up that, I would think. Although Peter Wright's playing nowhere near his capabilities at the minute. He nearly bust that. <laughs> he <laughs> got away with it, didn't he? Peter Wright. It's a wonder Joe's uh, breathing a sigh of relief there.